Everyone seems to have gotten evolution completely wrong, assuming it's all random. This stops anyone asking why, why is it happening? Read Wikipedia and try and find why. You'll get nothing. If you don't believe in panspermia, that is DNA everywhere in the galaxy and evolution happening on other planets, there's simply no reason to make the suggestion that I'm making that evolution is simply a mechanism for DNA to survive and it happens everywhere. I think DNA evolved to create evolution to survive. This has allowed more DNA to grow on every planet in the galaxy. DNA creates life to grow food. The food then creates more DNA. This allows DNA to spread and I think this explains how it has spread to Earth. That's what evolution is actually for. The build-up of food on a planet. You will not hear this anywhere else to my knowledge. This is original research. You see, DNA is the main beneficiary of natural selection, not an individual species. This is the key mistake that evolutionary biologists and wildlife documentary makers make. They are only interested in the species, something they can see with their eyes, but they can't see the hidden person holding the murder weapon. Evolution an increase in complexity of organisms bamboozles us and hides the increase in size. The increase in complexity is really an increase in size or an increase in food or biomass and DNA on the earth. Think of DNA as a weed trying to take over a planet and we can understand why we evolve. So we have to ask is evolution a process used by DNA everywhere on every planet in order to build up biomass? Perhaps. Now we might start to think of evolution as a chemical reaction that DNA attempts on every single planet as part of a planet takeover process. Evolution took billions of years on Earth. Not, I think, because it took forever for mutations to occur, as they claim. I think DNA is designed to evolve very quickly. It's highly efficient. Bacteria is not the first life. It's just the first stage in conquering a planet, building up biomass slowly. Bacteria is here to secure a foothold. I think evolution could have happened immediately on early Earth, but there was insufficient food to support anything other than bacteria. That's why you see bacteria first. Not because it's the most primitive. If it's primitive, why is it still here? It's still terraforming the planet. I think it's still creating oxygen to sustain and create more DNA in higher life forms. That's why. In fact, Instant evolution occurs in the geological record. New species suddenly appear after catastrophes. I think instant evolution has occurred recently in the Amazon rainforest because of the huge biodiversity seen there. This is DNA's doing. It's screaming for help and it's trying to survive by rapidly creating biodiversity. Evolution is DNA's conquest and survival tactic. Perhaps it was the same catastrophe that wiped out the Mayan civilization. I think evolution is happening on every single planet or it's being attempted. In chemistry we know that all reactions are always proceeding but some never get anywhere because they happen too slowly so when you observe it nothing happens. So I think this is happening now on the supposedly uninhabitable planets where even bacteria is trying to get a foothold in order to terraform the planet with oxygen, in order to create higher life so that DNA can spread. Now, this raises questions, implications. DNA is obviously a very fit type of genetic code, but what type of genetic code did it replace on early Earth? 
DNA must have had precursors, but it's outcompeted its precursors, killing them off. Another implication is that symbiosis, such as animal and plant, evolved together. They pop up together as a way to rapidly spread huge amounts of DNA across a planet. Not so that individual species can survive. It's not about species. What does DNA care about individual species when it can quickly create vast amounts of biodiversity very quickly in response to a catastrophe? Another implication as seen in the last video is that DNA is trying to pop up the very same species on every single planet as on Earth. After all, it's all the same code. After initially terraforming that planet with bacteria, which leads to the creation of larger bacteria, and finally multicellular life, if enough food can be grown. That's what's slowing evolution down, and that is the rate of evolution, the rate, I think, at which food can be created. I hope you've enjoyed this video.